Welcome to Watch Symposium. I'm Austin. All right, so do you practice good horological hygiene? Well, Grandma is in Japan, and by Grandma, I mean my mother. That's what Sarah and Sophie call her. And Grandma came from the States, and what did she wear? She wore her Victronox GMT quartz watch. And this is a watch, if you've watched my channel, you know that I sent this to my mother for her birthday. And I noticed on the train from the airport, I looked down and the date read, read 24 and the time was wrong. At least it was wrong for Japan. And I got it and I realized that when I set this watch and sent it to her, she had not tweaked it at all since then and, and the date had uh, changed and it was reading the wrong date and it was reading the wrong time and she wasn't practicing good watch hygiene and that's something that watch people sort of do automatically. I don't think you can be a watch person touch down in another country and not set your watch before you get off the plane. It's just something we do, something we don't even think about. It's like a car person putting oil in their car, putting gas in their car. It's just sort of a given. But for a non-watch person, practicing watch hygiene is, is maybe not a priority. And so on the train, I got my mother's watch and I, I looked at my Explore 2, which is more or less dead on. And we set this watch. And I asked my mother, I said, that's interesting. Why, why don't you keep the date up to date? And she said, oh, I wanted a reason, right? I mean, I was just curious. And she said, I, I just really didn't want a monkey with it. That's a phrase that her, her father, my grandfather, used to say. And, and to monkey with something means to fuck with it uh, and potentially mess it up. And so I kind of understood where she was coming from because the last thing you want to do is start messing around with a crown and potentially hurt something, which on a watch like this is, it's not really a risk, but the lack of hor horological hygiene came from just a, a desire to not want to mess anything up. So let's uh, take a look at my Explore 2. As you can imagine, the date is correct. It's about 15 seconds fast. I said it about three days ago. And things like the date and setting the GMT function to something meaningful. That's just something that we as watch people do and would always do. And I don't think you can really be a watch person and wear a watch with the wrong date without it really bothering you. So I think I did it one time. I wore a Vostok and I think it was something like, you know, it was like the first and I think my Vostok was reading something like the third. And if you've ever set the date on a Vostok, it's a, a time-consuming experience. And so I think I wore that watch probably for 30 minutes and it drove me nuts. And I took it off and I sat down and I spent however many minutes correcting that date because good horological hygiene is, is something that's important to us watch people. So there you go. And uh, my mother asked some questions about this watch. She said, now, is it waterproof? Is it going to be okay in the rain? I said, yes, absolutely. It's 100 meters water resistant. You can swim in it. You can wash it when it gets dirty. You can garden in it. Wash it off. Rain, absolutely fine. So comes from uh, wanting to baby it. So, hey, I know, I know about babying watches. So I get it honestly. All right, guys. Practice good watch hygiene. I'm sure you do if you're a watch person. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you next time.